Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a day and night cycle. So, <clears throat> first of all we need to calculate how many seconds we want each degree of rotation of the sun to be. And you got to keep in mind with Euler angles, if you have a directional light, which will be our sun, whoops, Um, the x rotation will go up to 360 degrees, and then you're back where you started. So, we'll just set this to 20. Um, you got to think of the direction you want to uh, you want the light to turn. So, if you have it on the x axis like that, uh, which I don't want any rotation on the y, you can rotate it on x or z. I prefer to do it on the x axis. And where you place this light does matter, so I usually put it like maybe a hundred high. Especially if you draw like a halo or anything, you can see it. And if you got it by the ground, it makes it very obvious. I wonder what that is. Oh, that's a ball. Anyway, we will make a script called Sun Rotate. Make sure it's one word or else it won't work. We'll open that up. Maybe. <clears throat> Let's fly sometimes prepare the scripts before I ever uh, start recording. So we need an X and a Y and a Z value. And I like to put these in a variable because if you do not, then, um, It'll kind of read it out as a quaternion, and it'll go from a positive number down to a negative, and it's kind of funky. So, <clears throat> I'd rather do it in Euler angles. So you need three public floats, rot x, rot y, and rot z, obviously standing for rotation. Um, all these should be set to zero by default, so we don't have to worry about that. In fact, actually, you know what? I'll just put it just in case. Rot x equals 20, because we want the sun already up when we start. Rot y equals 0. Rot z equals 0. Now, here's what's going to make our sun rotate. Quaternion dot Euler rot x rot y rot z. <clears throat> now, uh, obviously we want to change the rot z over time, so we'll say rot z plus equals, so we're keeping our current rotation and adding to it. Um, so this is where you got to do your calculations. So, like we said, there's 360 degrees and a rotation before you get to the same spot you started. So if we wanted it to last an actual full day or the time, um, you could do, I think it was, uh, I don't know, it's kind of confusing to think about. If you divided this by 360 and then put that into a fraction like 1 over that number, I believe that would get you a day's worth of time. So we'll make it like 12 minutes or something. Or for this example, we'll make it 1 minute. <clears throat> so there's 1,444 minutes. We'll divide, well, we don't need to actually. Since it's going to be 1 minute, I think we can just do... Get our calculator back out. 1440 by 360. That'd be 4. So, 4 times time, delta time. And actually, now that I think about it, since when you put it in the update function, it does it every frame, this could 
um, could be faster or slower based on frame rate. So we put it in fixed update because this is similar to the movement. So four times time, not delta time. So if you divide 360 by four, you should get 60, as in 60 seconds. 360 divided by four, and you're gonna get 90. Whoops. 360 divided by six, so we need six. Six degrees a second. I don't know, I'll write an equation, probably. Stick it in the, um, <coughs> the description that you can use. But now we got our sun rotate, and we're going to stick it on the sun, or a directional light. It is a directional light, just keep that in mind. I just renamed it the sun. Uh, the only thing I like to do other than that, since rot x can become such a big number that uh, the computer can't register it anymore, which would take a very long time. But it's possible, I like to say, if rot x is greater than or equal to 360, rot x minus equals 360. And you won't be able to tell. Because if you subtract 360, it goes back to the same spot. Else if rot x is less than 0, rot x equals 0. There's no reason it should ever be below 0. So, yeah. Now this should work. Uh, we're not going to time it. We're not going to bother. We're not going to waste a minute. So we're changing our rot z. Did I type the wrong letter? Yes. X. X. Okay, I made a stupid mistake. <laughs> Transform dot rotation equals how embarrassing is that that's like the most important part no I don't put oh my gosh save it and now we should run it and it should work just fine look at that you can watch it move because a minute's awful fast but you'll see it go up <coughs> and we're turned all the way to our what was our backside and it's going down and as you'll see the lighting is kind of funky look at that it looks like we're in why am I being pushed oh I'm not he's sliding towards me but yeah um, we've obviously got some problems with lighting here to fix this is what happens in Unity. I don't know why they don't just make uh, shadows work properly, like right off the start, but you know, we'll fix that later. Here it comes, it's coming right back up. Obviously, uh, <clears throat> when it's written like this, if you increase this number, it's going to spin faster. So if we do 12, and then we'll do it in 30 seconds, like a complete rotation. Look how fast that's going. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video.